Hi there, this is Jeff from jeffmobile.com. Today I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial of how to set up live streaming with your Ricoh Theta S camera to stream 360 videos to YouTube. This is an amazing new feature of YouTube and the Theta S camera that lets you create live streaming video onto YouTube in full 360 degrees. These videos can be viewed using the spherical player on YouTube on both the web-based app and the mobile app, and you can even watch this stream live using virtual reality such as Google Cardboard. So let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is open up Google Chrome. And the first thing I want to do is search for Theta Live Streaming English, Windows English. Streaming, Theta Live Streaming Windows English. Search this and you get to the theta360.com slash en slash support slash download. This is the English download page for Rico Theta software. Now I have the camera, the Rico Theta S, great camera that has a fisheye lens on both sides. I'll scroll down to the live streaming app. I have a newer version of Windows, so I want to choose the Windows 64-bit software and I'll choose download. Download this onto your desktop so it's easier to find. It's called the UVC Blender app. Save that. At the same time, you want to go into Google, search for OBS download. OBS is a open broadcaster software. Click download there and then you want to go uh, select your operating system on Windows, click download installer. Also save this one onto the desktop as well. So while that's downloading, let's open up UVC Blender. You can either click this link here or you can click the item on your desktop. Opens up this software here. Click yes on the question and then now it opens the installer. Click next, next, install. It's going to install the software. This is the software that actually is provided by Theta that will allow your camera to live stream into what's called the equirectangular projection. It makes it look um, all stitched together as opposed to being two separate fisheye lenses, which is what you'll get normally. So um, this, this software is like the key piece that does the live stitching of the image. There we go, it's installing. Click launch the program, click finish, and it will launch up the software. So it says connect your Rico Theta that has a live streaming function to the computer, but the camera end must be switched off. So currently my Theta S camera is switched off. I'm gonna plug it into the USB cable and plug it into the computer. Just plugging it in right now. So it's plugged in, and now it's gonna detect the camera. Just one moment, it says establishing connection. Uh, connected, do you want to register this Theta? Click register, yes, register is good. Okay, Theta was registered, that's good, so that's done. Click finish. Next thing you wanna do is install the OBS Studio that you downloaded. Go there, double click that one, click yes on the warning, click next to install, I agree, and next. And that is gonna install now. Okay, once that's done, you can click Run OBS Studio and Finish. It'll open up this software. Now this is where you need to configure all the settings of the OBS Studio. So once it loads, you'll see all the settings will appear. Okay, click OK. License agreement is fine. Okay, so this opens the Untitled Profile. The first thing you want to do is under Sources, click the plus button. And you want to choose Video Capture Device. Click Yes, click on that. Click OK, and then you want to make sure device is selected Theta UVC Blender. You can leave all the other settings as default. Click OK. And next thing you want to do is go into settings here, and you can leave all of these default and general tab. Under stream, you want to change stream type to custom streaming server. We'll come back here later. Under output mode, choose advanced. Choose a CBR, which is constant bit rate, that's correct. Bit rate should be 3000. That's the minimum you need for 1080p streaming. Keyframe interval should be two, that's recommended by YouTube. 
You can leave those settings as they are. Let's now go to recording tab. This is if you want to record a local copy of your stream to your computer while you're streaming it. Choose MP4, leave the rest as default. Under audio, YouTube recommends that you change these to 128. It will decrease the quality, but it'll make the stream a bit smoother for the viewers. That's good, now click audio tab. Now this one, it looks okay, except you'll come back here later to set up your audio device. Um, once we plug in the camera, now go to video. This is where you actually have to change the uh, resolution because for 360 video, it's not 16 by nine. It's actually two to one. So 1920 divided by two is 960. So we actually wanted to set it to 1920 by 960 and also change the output scale resolution to 1920 by 960 as well. And uh, that is good. Now it's good and now go to hotkeys tab. It's really important that you set up this size, otherwise you'll get weird issues with the video not rendering properly on YouTube in the 360 player. So always use, for the theta, use 1920 by 960. Even though some tutorials online say to use a different value, this is the one that I found uses the it works the best for me. Under hotkeys, you can leave all these default. Advanced settings, this all looks good. I don't think you have to do anything here. So just click OK. And now the next thing you want to do is take this window, drag this out to fill the screen. It'll snap in place. And uh, we are almost ready to start going. So let's uh, now turn on your camera. And I'm going to show you in a quick uh, inset video how to do this. You want to hold down the power button and the mode button at the same time until the little live streaming blue indicator it says live appears on the back of your camera nothing happened here yet so in order to trigger it to work there's a little trick i found go into here click on the gear icon and under device choose rico theta s and then go back to theta uvc blender and now it actually loads the live stream so now you can see me hello you can see me in the live stream and you can see it's all nicely stitched together. It's seamlessly stitched and it looks great. So that is good. I'll just click OK. Now you can see my live stream is now filling the entire window. But right now there's no sound. You can see there's no sound appearing in the mixer. So let's make sure to avoid any audio issues. You want to mute the desktop audio by clicking that there so it's muted. You also want to mute the video capture device because that doesn't seem to be working. But there is a way to get sound. So go back up to um, actually, you can do there. You can do settings here, settings, and choose audio. And under mic auxiliary audio device, you want to select microphone Rico Theta S and click apply and click OK. Now you can see my audio is coming in in this uh, mic auxiliary part of the mixer, which is really good. Okay, so this is all set up. You can see you've got both the live streaming video and the audio coming in nicely and it's filling the entire screen at the 1920 by 19, 960 resolution. Okay, so let's think, next thing you gotta do is go to YouTube. So I'll open up Chrome again, and I'll just keep this window open so you can see me on the side. And let's go to Chrome and go to YouTube. Okay, we are now going on to YouTube and under, you have to log in and under your account, click Creator Studio. and then go under live streaming. Now you need to have this set up for your account. So the first time you go to live streaming, you may have to validate your account using your phone number and your account actually has to be in good standing as well. But once you've got it all set up, you come here and it actually will give you this sort of complicated looking screen with so much stuff on it. What you should do once you got it working, go to events on the left side. This is where you can schedule a new event to be live streamed. And you should go new live event up at the top right. And this is where you can set up everything about your event. So I'll choose the, I'll type title test, um, test stream using Rico Beta S in 360 live on YouTube. And I'll have this come out today at 11 a.m., which is the start time. Description, this is a test for the tutorial video I am making on 360 live streaming using the Rico Data S. 
you can put some tags such as theta s um, streaming 360. Okay, and make sure under type select custom, which is really important. Otherwise, it won't work. If you're planning on making this stream public, you can choose public. I'm going to leave it as private for now because I don't want to notify all my subscribers about this test stream. That's good. Under advanced settings, you definitely want to go here. Uh, these are some settings you can use. So if you want people to be able to chat with you while you're, you're streaming, click enable live chat. Also, you can, um, you should maybe set the location. So I want to set it to Vancouver, Canada, and that's good. Language is English. That's correct. Recording date. I'll choose today. Um, if you don't want your video to become public after you finish streaming, you can check this one automatically make it unlisted once the stream is ended. It's kind of a helpful feature. If you're doing adult content, you should check the enable age restriction. Under promotions, this is where if you put check these two boxes, will actually promote your stream to all of your subscribers by sending them notifications and also popping up emails for them. So if you really want to promote your stream, you should check those. If you don't want your, your stream to be promoted, you should uncheck those. And then the most important thing about this screen, which you should be aware of, is this one called 360 video. And check this box saying this live stream is 360. If you don't do this, you'll basically have, it won't work properly and you won't be able to go back here and change it again. So it's really important to choose this 360, this live stream is 360. Before we go to create event, let's go up to the top again and choose monetization. So if you've set up um, AdSense for your channel, you want to make money from your videos and your streams, definitely check monetize with ads. And I don't usually check these two middle ones because they are annoying for the customers. Instead, I just choose skippable video ads. So now this is all set up. So I'll click create event. And this is going to take a moment. It says your changes are being saved. It's now saving the stream. And the next thing you want to do is create a thumbnail. So this is where you can upload any thumbnails. I just took a screenshot of my room here and I'm going to use that here. So I'll choose the thumbnail file that I, I previously created. It's going to load that thumbnail in there. It takes a moment. And uh, this is the preview image that's going to be used. Okay, under basic ingestion, you want to select a bitrate. Now I chose 3000, 3, so I want to make sure that this is 3000. You can actually see the setting if I go back to OBS under um, settings here, under stream or output, I put bitrate at 3000, so that matches the 3000 there. That's good. Now under encoder, this is where you want to set up your encoder. And uh, this is really important that you do this properly. Select the stream name and paste it into stream key in OBS and take the primary server URL and paste that into URL. And that is pretty much everything you need to do for OBS. So click OK. Go back to OBS and click Start Streaming. And then back in YouTube, Go up to the top and choose uh, Save Changes. Go to Live Control Room. Now you get this warning, this event can't be featured because it's private, because I made it private, but you can also make yours public if you want it to be public. It says stream stat is good, the health is good, that's a good sign. I'll go Preview. Are you sure you want to preview? Yes, I want to preview. So it's previewing the stream. I'm sure YouTube will make this screen a bit easier to use as they make the feature more popular. Right now it's kind of a confusing screen to use and it took me a while to figure it out. Okay, so the preview is now done. You can click preview and see how it looks. And it's got my audio going there. So I'll just turn off my audio here. You can see that the audio is working properly and you have me talking away and it is 360. You can pan around the room. The quality is very poor because the preview only gives you up to 360s. Okay, so we're ready to go. If you have any problems with your broadcast, you can notify your viewers about what's happening, such as we are experiencing technical difficulties, etc. Kind of a neat feature. Okay, and um, let's next, next thing, let's go and start streaming. When you're ready to go live, 
click start screaming and then it will count down. We are live with Jeff Mobile 360 video stream. This is a test video showing how the tutorial works for the Ricoh Theta S. In my link below, I have captured a screen tutorial of how to create 360 video streaming to YouTube using the Ricoh Theta S. This is a little live stream example. Uh, if you want to see the whole tutorial, click the link below. Thanks a lot. This is just a test video for the purposes of the tutorial. It actually gave me a warning here, bad, but it's still going. So let's see how it worked out. Yes, there it is. There's me talking. This is live on YouTube. And the quality, if you change here to 1080, it'll give you the highest quality image. It's not that bad. It's much more clear than the uh, low res preview. Another neat feature of this, fe this software is that you can do live chat with your viewers. So we can open this in a new window. If anyone was chatting with me or watching this video, they, the chat would come in on this screen. You can say like, hi there, everyone. And this chat will appear on their mobile screen. So if you want to actually see what this looks like on YouTube, I can click and watch it here and you can see it's definitely streaming. It says two watching now, it's amazing. Um, there will be, if you make this window bigger, you'll get the live chat, I think on the right side, but it's not showing up right now because the video is unlisted. So um, that is pretty much it. I'm going to stop streaming now. So go back to your um, live control room. You can click here and it's still streaming. So I will, even though it gives you this warning about you need to change the video resolution, this is actually not affecting it because it's actually a 360 stream and that 1920 by 960 is the correct resolution. So I'll stop streaming and click OK. And this is now done. So if you want to see what the stream looks like in your video manager, you can go back to video manager and it will give you um, the video it's processing right now. When it's finished processing, it will upload it to your channel. So that is pretty much the tutorial, how to do it. It's quite exciting technology. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial with uh, jeffmobile.com on how to do live streaming to YouTube using the Ricoh Theta S camera and the new live streaming feature of YouTube for YouTube channels. Hope you have a great day. And as always, please leave your comments below this video. I look forward to hearing from you and seeing what you're doing with live streaming using the Ricoh Theta S on YouTube. Have a great day and bye-bye for now.